One, two, three, let's ride for the last time of the year. Hi guys, this is Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I'm going to take a look back at my YouTube career and where I'm going next. Uh, this is not like an in-depth numbers and analytics kind of growth. Just looking at the overall year and how it's been to my YouTube channel, and then give you some of my resolutions to kind of make this channel even better. First, I want to share with you my three best performing videos. So coming in at number three, we have customizing my Switch Lite with Animal Crossing stickers. You never know what sticks, quite literally, <laughs> in YouTube. Number two, we have my Nintendo Switch collection for 2020. And coming in at number one, my most popular video, and that is how to get three star island in Animal Crossing New Horizons to unlock terraforming and more. That was my first video that blew up, which I wasn't expecting, but I am greatly honored. Crazy how things happen. <laughs> so other things that happened to my channel, I'm not gonna lie, I've had friends leave, but fortunately, I've had friends come in. And I'm glad that I'm not alone in this YouTube kind of thing because it could be very lonely if you make it. And me being a loner did not really help it. I kind of felt really isolated at times. I didn't really fit into any of the groups on YouTube or the YouTubers. So now I have some with um, NGG, Nintendo Gamer Gal, and Lazy James, uh, Jugs, Peter, all my mods, a lot of you guys, a lot of my peeps too. So this year was kind of cool because I didn't think I would want any friends after, you know, fallouts with previous friends. Whew. And another thing that happened to my channel, and that is I reached 3K, yay. But I am so grateful I got to 3K and I can't thank you guys enough for that accomplishment. I just try to make the best videos and live streams I can. But as you know, everything's up to YouTube and where it puts it. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, liked this, subscribed, comment, all that good stuff. And I appreciate it. All right. And another accomplishment that I'm very proud of is I upped my streaming both visually, well, I hope, aud audibly and personality wise and kind of the aura I give in my live streams. It feels like I've become a streamer. I know it's weird. <laughs> it's just so weird to say because I used to hate streaming like all the time, but the more I did it, the more I loved it. And awesome going through adventures with you guys. Uh, man, you press L shoulder button and then up down on the right stick. Uh, the controls on the Wii would, oh! Is that what you did on the Wii? Like, like this? Oh. Okay, let me see. What the heck kind of charger is that? Especially when I stream a game from beginning to end and we see those credits and all that stuff. I feel like we actually went on an adventure together. Now there are times where you know, stuff gets out of hand or beyond my control, especially tech issues, and I get a little flustered, but other than that, I feel like I've grown as a streamer. Not saying I'm like a master at it, but I feel like I've leveled up somewhat. Now I'll get more into it when I talk about what I want next year, but least to say, my Achilles heel is multiplayer games. I shine with single player games. I can give you a story and a spectacle to behold, but when it comes to multiplayer games, I'm just like overloaded and stuff. So yeah, I need to work on that. All right, now on to my channel goals. Obviously more subscribers. I mean, <laughs> that's obvious. Challenge myself to play more multiplayer games. Now, if you check out NGG's video of her first year on YouTube, which I highly recommend, I'll leave it in the description down below, her challenge is to play more single player games. So guess where my challenge is to play multiplayer games. Now, I've played multiplayer games in the past, Mario Kart, um, Splatoon, 
but the reason why I don't really do it is because kind of a mix of social anxiety. I don't like when things go out of hand that I can't control. And that's a lot in um, <laughs> multiplayer games. Like I've had multiplayer things in Animal Crossing where people just don't listen to me. All right, Death, you got like 10 seconds. If not, I'm eating everybody off the island. One, two, three. This is why I don't do like multiplayer. <laughs> this is why I don't do. <laughs> you had your chance and you blew it. Yeah, I am getting pissed. I, I, I don't know. It just makes me feel weird. But when I do it right, it's very fun. Like Mario Kart tournaments that turned out right, I love them. Playing with friends online, not even streaming, I love that. But for some reason, when I host something, I feel this sense of anxiety. It's just, I don't know, not my cup of tea. But next year, it's my cup of tea because I made a challenge and I do have fun on multiplayer streams. Don't get me wrong. It's just, leading up to it and stuff like that gives me the anxiety. So I will take that challenge to heart and stream more multiplayer games once a week, probably Saturdays. Let's see where it goes. Maybe it's a, it's a thing for me, but I do need to try more things. And that leads me to my other resolution, try more games. And I could branch out a little bit more. Like I played Spider-Man not too long ago, a game that I thought I would never touch in my life, and I ended up really loving it. Um, I want to be taken a little bit more seriously in the gaming community with other YouTubers. I don't really want to be the butt of the joke anymore as much, and I had to do a lot of um, changing for that. Like, I could describe it as when a beer is fermenting. I had to ferment for a little bit to think about, you know, things before I act, find my own path on YouTube where other YouTubers respect me, not just laugh at me. That got personal. <laughs> and another topic, and this is a big one, a big, big one, and that is fix my membership perks. Because thank you guys who supported me in my memberships, Peeps1 and Peeps2. Um, I know I it's not a lot and I could do better and I will do better, but it has helped me a lot with the channel. So just know that your money is not just going into outer space. No, it does help. So thank you for your contributions. And I'm sorry for the lack of meaningful perks. I try to think of something. It's hard because I'm like, well, I do all my gaming stuff already for free. What, what else can I give? So I'm going to take a look at that. Maybe do some multiplayer membership kind of thing. I have to do something. A Discord role is not gonna cut it. And that leads me into the next one. Be more active on Discord. Now I've been working on this one uh, every Saturdays, except for this one, because of the holidays. I just go on there and talk with you guys and just chill and chat. So it's free for everybody to chill and chat for now. So join in if you wanna join in. All right, and my last goal is to start building a PC or saving up for a PC. So in case this thing decides to hit the fan, I have somewhat of a backup plan or backup cash to get another one. And yeah, 2020 for my channel has been great. I cannot wait for 2021 and what it has in store for my channel, for my life, for everybody else's life. I know things are not gonna just snap into like greatness, but I feel like a fresh start is what we all need Ugh, so badly. We all need it. And there's a lot of games that have been on the back burner for 2021. So we're gonna get a ton of stuff, a ton of content, and I just can't wait. So let's go 2021. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day, a wonderful last day of the year, and be safe, don't party too hard, social distance, and as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.